the protocols of the court XRP are not deemed to be securities in the lawsuit that Ripple is now facing against the SEC. Yeah, according to a landmark decision that was handed down by the Securities and Exchange Commission in the lawsuit that it was pursuing against Ripple Labs 12 months ago, XRP was not classed as a security. This decision was made in the context of the case. This decision will have ramifications, not just for the market for cryptocurrencies, but also for the regulatory environment in the United States. Ripple, a digital payment network that is based on blockchain technology, earned a significant victory as a consequence of the ruling, which also created an important precedent in the classification of cryptocurrencies about their classification. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple in December 2020, claiming that the company had engaged in unregistered securities offering via the issuance of XRP. The SEC's lawsuit was filed against Ripple. Uh, Ripple, on the other hand, argued that XRP should be considered a currency rather than a security. On July 13, 2023, after a lengthy legal battle, the court concluded in favor of Ripple. This decision came after Ripple had argued that XRP should be recognized as a currency. It is important to note that the decision of the court that XRP does not meet the criteria for security will have substantial ramifications for the whole landscape of the cryptocurrency business. As a first step, it succeeded in bringing about the clarity of rules that was so desperately needed. The fact that cryptocurrencies usually operate in a gray area puts regulatory authorities in a difficult position when it comes to categorizing and regulating them. This is because cryptocurrencies typically function in a murky region. XRP was not classified as a security uh, according to the decision of the court, which set a uh, precedent, there is a possibility that this ruling may have an impact on the way that other cryptocurrencies are seen and controlled in the future. Because of this decision, the value of XRP on the market was also significantly impacted, which is another beneficial consequence. Following the execution of the judgment, the price of XRP increased by around six, as shown by the figures that were given by TradingView. In his statement, Stuart Alderotti, Chief Legal Officer of Ripple offered his thoughts on X and stressed the gravity of the decision that Judge Juris made. I said in other topics, including the recent lawsuit against Binance, he pointed out that this judgment opens the door for the acknowledgement that the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, under the leadership of Chairman Gensler, has overstepped its limits and veered from legal norms. He said that this decision paves the way for the recognition of this fact. Alderotti noted that it is an undesirable strategy to rely on prolonged litigation to determine the status of each token on a case-by-case -case basis. This is the case, even though the court provided the necessary oversight of the actions that were carried out by the SEC. Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission have engaged in a greater number of legal battles uh, and talks over the last year which has resulted in the continuous development of the dispute. The Securities and Exchange Commission has not completely retreated from its previous position, and the regulatory environment continues to be challenging and convoluted. Ripple, on the other hand, has taken advantage of this extended period to strengthen its legal arguments and to strengthen its position in the cryptocurrency market. As a consequence of the proposal that was made by the Federal Reserve of the United States to perhaps acquire ownership of XRP and the Ripple system, there is a possibility that a significant shift may occur in the world of finance. This strategy will likely include banning retail purchases of XRP and replacing the existing financial system with the technology built by Ripple Lab. This is something that may be considered potential. Ripple Labs has just initiated a significant buyback of around 1 billion XRP from its circulating supply, which demonstrates the company's dedication to strengthening and stabilizing the position of XRP. They have made a major commitment in this regard. Conjecture over the likelihood of cooperation between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs has been further fueled as a result of the recent announcement made by Ripple Labs regarding their plan to buy more than 1 billion XRP from the current supply. There are articles on Google that indicate the Federal Reserve's intention to utilize Ripple's XRP as a global payment solution. There have been prior signs of interest from the Federal Reserve in this specific area, and there are other indicators that the Federal Reserve is interested in this particular sector. The Ripple buyback program is a further component that is included in this strategy. Ripple aims to repurchase XRP as part of their broader action plan, and they expect to do so via this scheme. The rising amount of attention has been devoted to the connection that exists between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs. This connection presents the prospect that in the future, 
XRP may become even more integrated into the traditional financial system, thanks to the fact that it has the potential to become even more widespread. An article that was published with the headline Federal Reserve collaborates with Ripple XRP for integration suggests that there is a possibility that the value of XRP might go as high as $10,000. As a consequence of this piece of news, a study rabbit hole was found and the theory of buyback was the one that was found. Based on this hypothesis, it is suggested that governments should buy back the whole supply of XRP from ordinary investors at a price that has been settled in advance. This value is calculated to be an incredible $37,500 per token. According to the calculation, the whole wealth of the globe was divided by the total asset supply of XRP, which resulted in the calculation of this value. The price of XRP is $60 at the time of this recording. But according to this concept, the true potential value of XRP is currently predicted to reach around $50,000 at the time of this recording. The growing recognition of XRP's potential in the realm of finance is reflected in this claim, which is a manifestation of that recognition. The platform known as BNB Dowin gives its members an unusual opportunity to generate enormous profits at an annual percentage rate of 333%. In addition to the pioneering inventor of Docs, the site also includes products from Binance, laws that are uncomplicated and simple to comprehend and plain legislation. As a result of BNB Dewin's compliance with the regulations, the company ensures that its clients will enjoy uh, a secure experience. The video also has a portion that offers a more in-depth investigation of the hypothesis that the price of XRP will range between $50,000 and $60,000, which is consistent with assertions made by many reputable news websites. The author of a recent article that was published by Forbes says that XRP has the potential to become the next Bitcoin with a price that may reach $59,472 in the future. Uh, this article was removed very soon after it was published, which resulted in a substantial amount of controversy about the reasons for its distribution. According to the results of several analysts, the value of XRP has the potential to surpass that of Bitcoin, even reaching or even exceeding $60,000 in the process. Because the S&P alone are anticipated to allow for more than $1.2 quadrillion in the futures market, the price of XRP would need to be somewhere near $10,000 to handle this magnitude. A strategic move that intends to enable significant volumes in the derivatives market by collaborating with financial powerhouses such as JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and BlackRock. Ripple's recent involvement in the International Swaps and Derivatives Association is a move that was made by Ripple, per the data. More than 19 central banks have disclosed that they have acquired XRP, which further confirms the potential that its value may grow in the future. According to estimates, the total amount of XRP that has been bought by central banks all across the globe is about 9.4 billion euros. Around 30 countries are now investigating the prospect of creating their central bank digital currencies directly on the XRP ledger. A total of 19 central banks have already made investments in XRP, and this number is expected to continue to grow. This scenario is based on true occurrences, even though it may seem to be unthinkable to certain people. One of the most important goals of the Federal Reserve is to achieve a competitive edge over the countries of the United Kingdom, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The Federal Reserve is already in preliminary negotiations with Ripple Labs about the possibility of enabling and purchasing back XRP. As a result of the fact that the majority of the nations in the United Kingdom are already official partners with Ripple Labs, it is evident that they are keen to make use of the RippleNet system and the XRP ledger. 